Now, if you don't know what a subform is, you want to watch my subform training video, but long story short, it's inserting one form into another. So what I want to do here is I want to insert my pivot chart form into my customer's main form. Let me double click to open it up. As you recall, when we learned about subforms, we started off with just these three fields here in the main form, and then we inserted the book sales form into here, and it became the subform to the main form. So when we come down here and navigate from one record to the next, it updated the uh, client and the corresponding orders within the subform there. And then we also added the form pivot table, inserted it into here, which became the second subform. So we have two subforms. Now we're going to add a third. So let me go ahead and right click, go to the design view, and then hover over that grid, the far right border there, until my pointer is turning into arrows pointing in opposite directions, and I can click and drag it to stretch it open. So I have room to insert my um, pivot chart form. As you recall, we created it in the previous training video. Double click to open it up to give you a refresher. There it is. Let me go ahead and close out. Now to insert that form into here as a subform to the main form, come up here on the Related Design tab to the Controls group, click on its More button, come over here, and there it is again. Click on it, come down here, click on it, opens it up, and it says, OK, what data would you like to use for your subform here? Well, it's going to be an existing form. And, and again, it's My Pivot Chart. Select Next. And then it says, how do you want to relate the uh, main form here to the inserted form, which will be the subform, the pivot chart? Do you want to relate it by customer ID or customer name? Now notice that it's looking at, for each record in the billing info table, to each record in the customer table by customer ID. What that means is that this main form here is based upon the customer table, and that this um, billing info table, well, the book sales is based upon the billing info table. We know that this form here, when we created it in the previous training videos based upon the sale profits query, so it's saying, okay, the sale profit query, which this form is based upon, the subform, do we want to go ahead and relate it to the customer table by the customer name? I mean, you can't see it up here except when you select it, you can get the details down below and see it here because it's being cut off there. Or you can go ahead and define your own if that's a little too confusing for you because, again, you have to know your tables and you have to know all the stuff that you're adding together, and Access is going to do its best if I have a lot of subforms here going. Let's see, do you want to base it the related fields here upon this subform or the main form? But if they're all interlinked and connected, then in a sense it doesn't matter because when you move from one record to the next in the main form, all the other little subforms will follow along happily. And um, we can choose it from the list or, like I said, define your own. So in the main form, we have the customer name, and it's got the data type text. So in the subform, we better have the same data type field here with the same type of data. And there we go, customer name with the text. And then click Next. And then we'll go ahead and call it my F sub. So F for form, S for sub, sub form, my pivot chart. Click Finish. And well, let's go ahead and take a look. Click on the View button, scroll over, and oh, that's a big chart. Maybe I don't need it that big. I won't know until I start advancing from one record to the next, which brings up a good point. How come I don't see anything down here for the first uh, customer, Big G, even though we have a cell here? Well, the reason why is because I entered Big G, as you recall, in the customer table. There he is, Big G, but I didn't enter in his corresponding info over in the billing info table. So Big G isn't listed here. In fact, if you go back to the customer table, his customer ID is 15487. Over here, there's no 15487. So because I didn't finish entering in his information over here in the billing information table, maybe I don't have his billing information yet. Well. It's not going to be, let me close out of here, pulling down below. But for all the other uh, clients, when I click in advance, there you go. We have not only their customer information, but also the billing information filled in as well. So it pulls it down here. So we have the three orders here. And you can see down below here in the pivot table, the uh, first record or order had a total of 22 books sold. So we made so much profit. The next one, we made a little bit more profit because we sold more books on that transaction date. And then if we scroll over here, we only sold the star temps uh, third quarter. And I can't see it because it's cut off here, so I may have to stretch the form open just a little bit. So you'll get an idea of what you need to do here. Let me go ahead and scroll back. Let's try another one. Look at it in the pivot table. And uh, let's get somebody who has a lot of orders here. Well, there we go. There's tons. And then you can see all the orders and then the corresponding uh, profits. And then over here, it's charted. Well, there we go. It expanded here. So I can see it all now. So it uh, looks like a, kind of a red burgundy colors quarter two. So we made the most profits off of this client here in the third quarter. So I've got my pivot chart, got my pivot table, and I have my orders. And all these are subforms inserted into the uh, main form here. 
When you're done, be sure to save your work because if I come up here and I click close out, notice all the objects that are attached to the forms, that if I make any changes to them, resize them and stuff, it wants to go ahead and update them in their own separate forms because these are forms inserted into uh, this form here. So do you want to save them, the changes to all of them, or say no to all? I'm going to go ahead and say yes, I want to save all of them. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.